The sun goes down, the moon comes up, the blue sky goes away, and we can see into the great void of space. I mean, how did we get so lucky to experience that every single night? And why is it happening? Why did the blue part go away like someone pulling back a curtain to show what's really out there? Hello, and welcome to the show. Today, we are talking about the darkness of space. Considering that it's loaded down with bright stars that we can see, why is it so dark? Is it another Hollywood cover-up? <laughs> no, that's dumb. Space is real, and the Earth is not flat. When we see images of space or videos from NASA, why is everything so dark? Why do we experience a dark sky at night despite all the stars? It's not because of a lack of light. I mean, there's actually a ton of light. You have stars like our sun blasting rays out and, and planets reflecting all that light all over the place. So what gives? Well, this is Olber's paradox. This paradox can be explained by the theory of space-time expansion. This is where our universe is expanding faster than the speed of light. Those distant galaxies may be stretching and turning into infrared waves and radio waves that are not detectable by the human eye, thus appearing black. You see, stars are not just these yellow or orange looking balls of light. Of course, there are different phases a star can go through that alter its color, but stars are emitting a lot more colors than what we can see, like ultraviolet or infrared. In a world where we could see those colors, then that night sky might actually look like a vibrant Van Gogh painting. All of those protons and electrons that blasted out across the universe after the Big Bang are still hanging out. We just can't see them. What we can see is how many of you click the like button. So go ahead and help me out with a quick tap. Along with our stupid human eyes not seeing all those colors, space is a near perfect vacuum. Think about our sky in the daytime. We see all that blue stuff, but why is that? Well, molecules are making our atmosphere an atmosphere. And that can scatter the visible light rays all over, allowing us to perceive the bright blue shade. Without all of that atmosphere stuff, light has nothing to bounce off of. So in the vacuum of space, light can only travel in a straight line, like when you use a laser pointer and only see the dot at the other end. In this example, you don't see it hitting all the particles in between unless you fill the room with fog or something. And that's why raves are so fun. But a recent study from this year suggests that space may not be as black as we thought. NASA's New Horizons mission to Pluto and the Cooper Belt, no, I say that wrong. I was told how to say that. It is pronounced Kuiper? That doesn't seem right either. Anyway, that NASA mission managed to snap a ton of photos. Researchers took those images and removed any known source of light from the images, including stars, the Milky Way, and potential galaxies, and the light that may have leaked in from the camera. What they ended up with was an image that produced twice as much light as they expected. The challenge is that we may not be accounting for all of the galaxies because we simply don't know how many are actually out there affecting our view. It's possible that there are some dwarf galaxies that we can't detect that are influencing this light, or that the light from stars that surround galaxies might be brighter than expected. It's even possible that there are rogue stars floating off on their own. But whatever the cause, this could mean that there are many more distant galaxies of varying sizes than we thought. So even a study of light changes our perception of how vast and wonderful space truly is. If you want to learn more about space, then watch this video and prepare to have your mind blown. As always, thanks for watching. What did you learn today?